Let's delve into the captivating narratives of the American Wild West. The iconic imagery of sunset duels, horseback chases, and showdowns between sheriffs and outlaws has long captured our imaginations. These characters, ranging from heroic figures to notorious villains, starred in stories that intertwined legend with the harsh realities of that era. While some met dramatic and legendary ends, others faced more mundane outcomes reflecting the challenges and hardships of life on the frontier. Belle Starr, known more for her connections to outlaws than her own crimes, lived a life full of drama and tragedy. She was once arrested for horse theft and spent nine months in jail, but despite this, she never got into trouble with the law again. However, she continued to hang out with criminals and even married two men who were known for their violent ways. Bell was also close friends with the infamous James Younger gang, but her story took a dark turn on February 3rd, 1889, just two days before her 41st birthday. As she was riding home from visiting a friend, she was attacked and shot. The bullets hit her back, neck, shoulder, and face, and she died right there. Who killed Belle Star? That's a mystery that has puzzled people for years. Some say it was her own son, Ed. Others think it was someone she owed money to. But the truth is still out there. A secret from the Wild West that has never been fully revealed. Wild Bill Hickok was a legend of the Old West. A man known for his fearsome reputation with a gun. But even legends can have bad luck. One day, in the dusty town of Deadwood, South Dakota, Hickok was just sitting down to a game of poker when his luck ran out. He was sitting with his back to the door, a careless mistake that would cost him his life. A young gunslinger named Jack McCall crept up behind him, drew his gun, and fired. The bullet hit Hickok right in the back of the head, killing him instantly. When they found Hickok's body, they discovered something strange. In his hand, he was holding a pair of aces and eights. From that day forward, this combination of cards became known as the Dead Man's Hand, a grim reminder of the dangers that lurked in the Wild West. Calamity Jane, a legendary figure of the Old West, lived a life as wild and unpredictable as her nickname. Known for her skill and bravery, Jane often dressed as a man to work with the Pony Express and, according to rumors, even turned to prostitution to survive. Her daring spirit and deadly aim made her a natural fit for Buffalo Bill's Wild West show, where she quickly became a star. But stardom wasn't all glitz and glamour for Jane. She had a dark side, too. She was a heavy drinker, and her alcoholism eventually spiraled out of control. Despite her struggles, Jane never lost her sense of adventure or her love for the wildlife. In the end, Calamity Jane's life was a roller coaster ride. She climbed to the top of the world, only to fall hard. But even in death, she remained a symbol of the untamed spirit of the Old West. She was buried at Mount Mariah Cemetery in South Dakota, next to Bill Hickok, a fitting resting place for a woman who lived life on her own terms. And as a final twist of fate, four of the men who helped bury, Jane decided to play a prank on Hickok by placing her grave next to his even though he had never shown her much affection in life. One of the most infamous pairs of outlaws in Wild West history was Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid, Made, famous by their daring heists and their eventual escape to South America. Their story is a classic tale of adventure and intrigue. The Wild Bunch, led by Cassidy, pulled out robberies that netted an average of $35,000, always managing to evade capture thanks to their careful planning. Tired of the constant danger in the life of a fugitive, Cassidy and Sundance decided to start anew in South America. They tried to blend in and avoid trouble, but their past caught up with them. A supposed payroll robbery in Bolivia led to a confrontation with local troops. Sundance was wounded and in the ensuing shootout both men were killed. The circumstances surrounding their deaths have sparked endless speculation and theories. Many people believe that one or both might have survived. One such claim came from a man named William Henry Long, who was rumored to have lived in Duzin, Ta, under the identity of Sundance. When Long died in 1936, his body was exhumed in 2008 for DNA testing. Unfortunately, the results did not match those of a distant relative of the Sundance kid, leaving the mystery of their fate unsolved. Jesse James, the notorious outlaw of the Old West, met a shocking and tragic end.
after a long career of daring robberies and narrow escapes. He was forced to go into hiding. His brother Frank, tired of the dangerous life, decided to turn his back on crime. This left Jesse vulnerable, and he had to recruit new members for his gang. Among the new recruits were the Ford brothers, Bob and Charlie. But the Ford brothers had a secret plan. They had been offered a $10,000 reward for capturing Jesse James. Seeing an opportunity, they decided to betray their leader. One hot day, while Jesse was relaxing at home, Bob Ford took advantage of the moment. Jesse was unarmed and off guard. Without warning, Ford shot Jesse in the back of the head. Jesse James was dead. The news of Jesse James's death spread quickly, shocking the nation. The Ford brothers openly admitted to the crime. They even sent a telegram to the governor to claim their reward. People from all over came to see Jesse James's body, eager to pay their respects to the fallen outlaw. Davy Crockett, the legendary king of the wild frontier, is a figure shrouded in both fame and mystery. Known for his role in the Battle of the Alamo, his death remains a subject of debate. In 1836, Crockett joined a small group of defenders at the Alamo Mission in Texas, facing a much larger Mexican army. After a 13-day siege, the Alamo fell, and all of its defenders were killed. The exact circumstances of Crockett's death are unclear. The most popular story is that he fought bravely to the end, dying in a hail of bullets. However, there are other accounts that suggest he and a few other soldiers were captured and then executed. These conflicting stories have fueled a long-standing controversy that continues to surround Crockett's final moments. Billy the Kid, a notorious young outlaw, lived a short but violent life. He was wanted for numerous crimes, including murder, and was constantly on the run from the law. Sheriff Pat Garrett was determined to bring Billy to justice. After a long chase, Garrett finally captured him. Billy was sentenced to death, but he managed to escape from jail. However, his freedom was short-lived. Garrett tracked Billy down to his hideout at the Maxwell Ranch. In a dramatic confrontation, Garrett shot and killed Billy. The death of Billy the Kid has been the subject of much speculation and controversy. Many people believe that he was a victim of injustice, while others argue that he deserved to be punished for his crimes. Billy the Kid's legacy lives on, and he remains one of the most famous figures of the Old West. Annie Oakley, the legendary sharpshooter, was a trailblazer who broke barriers for women. Born Annie Moses, she displayed incredible talent with a gun from a young age. At just 16, she won a shooting competition against the renowned Frank Butler, not only impressing him with her skill but also capturing his heart. Annie and Frank married and embarked on a journey together that spanned nearly 50 years. Annie became a star in Buffalo Bill's Wild West show, dazzling audiences with her sharpshooting abilities. She traveled the world, inspiring young women everywhere. Tragically, Annie's journey was cut short by anemia. She passed away at a young age, leaving behind a legacy of love, skill, and determination. Frank, heartbroken by her loss, died just 18 days later. The couple was buried together, a testament to their enduring love and partnership. Annie Oakley remains a symbol of female empowerment and a reminder of the incredible things that women can achieve. Doc Holliday, a dentist turned outlaw, lived a life filled with both adventure and tragedy. His love of gambling brought him into contact with some of the most famous figures of the Wild West, including Wyatt Earp. Unfortunately, his lifestyle also took a toll on his health. Holliday suffered from tuberculosis, a serious illness that was made worse by his drinking and gambling habits. Seeking a cure, he moved to a sanatorium in Colorado. But even in a peaceful setting, Holliday couldn't escape his past. He died at the young age of 36, leaving behind a legacy marked by both gunfights and his passion for cards. Wyatt Earp, a legendary figure of the Wild West, was not always well known. His reputation grew after his death, thanks to a biography that highlighted his daring adventures, such as the famous shootout at the O.K. Corral. In his later years, 
Earp moved to Los Angeles and became involved in the early days of Hollywood. He worked as a consultant on Western films, sharing his knowledge of the old West with famous actors like Tom Mix and William Hart. These actors became close friends with Earp, and they served as pallbearers at his funeral. When Earp passed away in 1929, his funeral was a somber event. Tom Mix, one of the most popular Western movie stars of the time, was so overcome with grief that he couldn't hold back his tears. This moment captured the deep respect and admiration that people had for Wyatt Earp, a true icon of the Old West. Bat Masterson was a legendary figure of the Old West, known for his skill with a gun and his dedication to law and order. Influenced by his friend Wyatt Earp, Masterson took on the challenging task of serving as sheriff of Dodge City, Kansas. Despite his success as a lawman, Masterson's life was marked by tragedy. He witnessed the murder of his own brother, Ed, while on duty. This event, along with the constant danger and violence of the Wild West, led Masterson to seek a quieter life. At the age of 49, Masterson and his wife moved to New York City. There he traded in his guns for a pen, becoming a respected newspaper journalist and even serving as a U.S. Marshal. However, his peaceful life ended abruptly when he suffered a fatal heart attack while working on his final column. Buffalo Bill Cody, the iconic figure of the Wild West, passed away in 1917. He had expressed a desire to be buried on Lookout Mountain, but the harsh winter conditions prevented his burial immediately. As a result, his body had to be preserved for six months. During this time, a controversy arose over his burial location. Some people argued that he should be buried in Cody, Wyoming, the town he helped found. However, Buffalo Bill's final wish was to be buried on Lookout Mountain, and that is where he was eventually laid to rest. Today, there are conspiracy theories suggesting that Buffalo Bill's body may have been secretly moved to Wyoming. These theories add an extra layer of mystery to the already fascinating story of this legendary figure. Don't miss out on our upcoming videos. Subscribe to our channel, leave a comment, and share this video with your friends.